How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. I want to talk to you today about a new SPAC that is up 40% today because they just got announced that they are merging with a LiDAR company. So if you don't know what LiDAR is, it's light radar. It's a way of sensing what's around you. It's really important for autonomous driving. It's important in other industries as well. So we'll kind of go through that and talk to you about the company, what I think about it, because essentially right now, compared to the other LiDAR companies, it's the best value looking at forward projections. So if you guys like this, please leave a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. It helps out the channel. Please hit subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. Also, just quick off the bat, if you guys want four free stocks through Weeble, you can check out the link below. Also, there's a link down there to BlockFi. It's a company I just started using. They'll give you up to 8.6% APY on your money there. It's a company that you can hold cryptocurrency and get interest on. So if you want to invest in Bitcoin, if you want to invest in what's known as stable coin, something that I'm using, it's essentially just tied to the US dollar. So it's lower risk in my mind. Uh, you can definitely check that out up to 8.6% APY and it compounds every month. So definitely check that out down below. So Laser is probably the most well-known LiDAR company right now because they went from $10 a share up to $36.30 at the time of this recording. They have just gone up an insane amount. And now Apple just announced yesterday that they are working on an electric vehicle. Apple, like Apple phones, is that company is going to work on an electric vehicle. They are also going to use LiDAR. So there's a lot of attention being brought to the LiDAR industry. Now, a new SPAC was just announced today, and the company is CLA. So I'll explain why it's cheaper right towards the end. But right now, it's in at $14.20. Yesterday, it was at $10.08, jumped up a lot. I will tell you what I'm going to do with it towards the end too. But just looking at the investor presentation, they have 250 new customers in 2020 year to date they have 450 customers overall they're expecting 143 percent revenue compounded annual growth rate from 2020 to 2025 now that is a huge growth rate i mean let's just be honest there they expect the the lidar industry in general to go from about nine billion dollars in 2025 to about 50 billion dollars by 2030 now, this is in four key industries that they talk about, and we'll talk about it here in a second, but they're expecting to be able to grow very quickly. Again, 450 customers, over half of them new this year, and none of the customers, not one customer, is accounting for more than 5% of the projected revenue. So that's kind of nice. I mean, that's showing that there is a lot of diversification in their clients. Now, right now, the company is valued right around $2 billion. With the increase to their cost, though, it is a little bit more expensive because it went up 40% today. They say that they have 29 patents. They're in 17 different countries. So again, just hitting on the fact that they are very diversified. And then they hit on the different markets that they're trying to go after that they think will increase industrial, smart infrastructure, robotics, and automotive with automotive being the biggest market uh, compounded annual growth rate wise at least and you know there is some diversification again they really stress diversification they're saying that all these different sectors are very different here and have different addressable markets they break down the revenue by client by sector so industrials and smart infrastructure are the two smallest ones and each of these bars represents a different client so you can see that they have 450 different clients in here and the two largest sectors are robotics and automotive. They're making $19 million worth of revenue this year. They plan on selling about 2000 sensor units. So not a lot, honestly, but that does represent, you know, they are making a decent amount per unit and you can see that they're expecting this to grow 143% over the next five years. And this is just how it breaks down. You can see kind of how the numbers broke, break down in their pro forma enterprise value of $1.57 billion. And again, the stock's up a little bit, so you have to take that into account too. I don't know if I hit on this, but the name of the company is Oster. So O-U-S-T-E-R. And a, there's a very interesting graphic that Daniel Johnson, a CPA, put out on different LiDAR companies. So you can see the major ones broken down here by their SPAC ticker symbol, VLDR, 
CLA, Laser, IPV, CGRO. And I've talked about CGRO too and Luminar. Those are the two ones I've talked about. You can see their current market cap based on you know the growth of their share price and all this stuff like that. And then you can see the revenue projections per investor presentation. So just looking at the market caps here, CLA is the second smallest market cap and they have the largest 2024 revenue. So at a forward price to sales ratio for 2024, they're around three and a half. And if you compare that to something like Laser, which they have half of the projected revenue and they have about five times the market cap or four times the market cap, this company is at still a, a forward price to sales ratio just off the top of my head around 30. This company is much less expensive, about 10 times less expensive than Lazar or Luminar right now. So what am I doing? I am considering investing. I have not pulled the trigger yet just because I have been buying a lot of stocks recently. I've been buying Fubo and CleanSpark. Both of those did really well yesterday. I've been buying a couple other SPACs, but in the LiDAR industry, I think that this is kind of a steal. If you're looking for a company, of course they have smaller revenues than VLDR, which obviously has the largest, but they actually have more revenue this year than Laser, and they expect to continue to have higher revenue every single year down the line. I think that this one is a lot cheaper. It makes a lot more sense. Again, it's five, it's four times as big as CGRO, so I'm definitely considering it. If you want to know whether I buy it or sell it in real time, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. But I want to get this information out to you as quickly as possible because, again, I, I think that's kind of a steal. And this is based on CLA's price of $15. Now it's under $14. So it keeps on dropping off. Now, short term, a lot of people will probably ask me, what do I think about this short term? Short term, it could do anything. All these companies could do anything. But I like their forward projections. I like that they are pretty diversified. I mean, again, they hit on that the entire time in the investor presentation. But I think that is a good sign. I, again, am considering it at a forward or at a price to sales ratio for next year. It's around 100, which is pretty expensive. Uh, I mean, it's very expensive, let's be honest. And it's actually closer to 80 or something like that. But I am considering buying it just for the future growth. But let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know if you like these kind of quick SPAC looks, because again, you know, there's always room to do more research. I could always go into a lot more detail, but I like getting it to you as quickly as possible because who knows, this might inform your decision. The stock could go up 100% tomorrow. No one knows. And I'd hate to hold on to some information without telling you. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you want to know exactly why buy and sell in real time, you can check out the link down below to Patreon. Check out the link to Weeble if you want those four free stocks. And if you want up to 8.6% APY on some of your Bitcoin, on some of your cryptocurrencies, you can check out the link down below to BlockFi. And I talked about my entire portfolio earlier in the video today. Definitely check out this video here if you want to see that. Thank you guys and I'll see you in this video. Bye.